hamper you up next. And I look what happened last game. I was like, dang, it's like it's really true. Like anything happened, you up next. And like look what's happening, I'm up next. What was it like just getting thrown in there? Nah, it was crazy because I went from special teams and like we was all good. Then Shaq went down. I was like, okay, I'm in. And I had Josie. He was the green dot. And then Josie went down. They said, Trevor, you got the green dot. I said, hold up, wait, what? I was like, whoa, I got a green dot. So it was crazy how it all happened like that, back, back, like that. Is that the biggest adjustment, getting that green dot on the plays, or did you do that a it's, lot in college? It's different. So I, I, we didn't practice a little bit, but you know it's different from practice to the game. Did we, you were talking to, we were talking to X, and they said that you had to get your, your communication down, or, or how you how you were speaking. It's, yeah, people say I got a little accent, so. That was one thing that they was saying. But nah, it was straight though, because I had my, my boy Clyde, he helped me out. He like my little translator, so he gonna help me out, let him know what I'm saying. Did you have experience in calling play defenses in college or no? So, you know, it was different in college. We got signals from the sideline, so I communicated like that, not a helmet signal. Yeah. So obviously I communicated, but everybody knew the signal was coming from the sideline, so you know, it's different. But you know, now in college, you got a green dot, so you know, I just missed that. So obviously your preparation this week, while you try to keep it the same, it is a little different because your plate's a lot fuller now. Yes, way fuller. And I was like, okay, let me get the call in for the back end and the D line, and then get up and see what formation it is. So now it's way different now. So how was that at practice today? How did that go? Oh, it was smooth. You the real smooth. Them boys tell me like, hey, you doing good. Like, just keep it up going, keep flowing. And it was like, and if if I see like you get hesitant, we're gonna take the calm down and just keep going. So like that, they they know. Is there a sense of nervousness or anxiousness that comes with having this now big responsibility? Nah, I guess I was another person to get nervous. Like, I don't get nervous. Like, a lot of people say you don't get nervous. Like, what's the point of getting nervous? You, you know, one just moved your whole life, now you got it, so why get nervous? Have you Have been never, able? Have you never? That always been? That's, all, hey, that's always been me, never been nervous. Have you been able, or will you be able to talk to Shaq and, and maybe get as much knowledge from him as you can this week? And oh, also Josie? man, me and Shaq, Josie, we talk almost every day. Like, FaceTime, I can call Shaq right now, he'll pick him up. So, like, yeah, I talk to him every day. Like, I know, like, hey, Shaq. Like, I'm going to test him today, like, hey, watch film, see what you did or you would do in the situation. So I'm going to test him. I'm going to FaceTime after this. You know, the study obviously gets a little bit more intense being in your role. But have you looked at what Chicago yeah. has done so far? Yeah, 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 I looked at it a lot. And then, you know, with Shaq being there, he tells me, like, hey, I'm going to do a cut-up for you. So, you know, him being a vet like that helped me out a lot. And go watch his cut-up and hair go right here. Like, so, like, Shaq helped out a lot, too, with that. So you're going to be basically a, a second or third arm for Shaq this week. Yeah. Shaq had a cut-up for you the Bears? Yeah. How did you send that to you? Uh, yesterday. So, like, yeah, Shaq is uh, Shaq's my dog. How was it? It was good. It was real good. Like he texted us and was like, "Hey, I'm gonna do a cut up for y'all." I'm like, bro, I'm like, thank you. Like, that's a great event right there. So, what did he maybe tell you to watch that you would have maybe thought of yourself? Uh, you know, he's telling me like just watch like the O line, you know, because they, you know, the Bears do a lot of gas games. So watch O line, clean eyes, and he said strike. Then the first, last thing he told me to fly around and go play ball. Like he said, just go play like you was in college. Like just go fly around and play ball and have fun. What did you expect? I mean, a veteran guy. 